Alright, so yeah guys, hey, this is Quagnoth, and we're gonna try to LP Chrono Trigger. Funny thing about this game is, I really haven't played it the whole way through ever. The first time I played it was yesterday. So yeah, what we're gonna be doing is running through it in one way, by myself, and then coming back and showing you guys how to do it. This will not be 100%, because I have no clue how to, like I said, I've never actually played the game. All the way through, that is. Um, so yeah, let's get this started. Click on New Game. Oh, and just so guys let you know, I'm not playing on the old, uh, I believe it is on the SNES version. This is the, it came in a two-part Final Fantasy V and this on the PS1, but I am playing it on the PlayStation 3. So we're going to see what we can't do here. So yeah, we have two different ways to play this game. Wait is like the old uh, turn-based style games, and we can do active. I'm going to do active because I like it a lot better, the whole, it feels more like a new style game of almost um, real-time battle. So that's doing, select, select active. Um, let's see, what else we got here? So yeah, this is going to be my first game. Oh, well, enter your name, put, then press the start button. Personally, I just go with Chrono, just because I like the classics. Um, but yeah, so this will be my first LP game alone. I am still part of uh, Pacifist Fight Club. We just decided that if we want to do stuff by ourselves, we're just going to put it up on our own little pages. So yeah, let's get this started. A lot of birds, and if you look at them in size compared to everything else, they just don't look right. I mean, those birds are the size of the whole, like, little outbranch there. I'm talking about birds, like, 400, 500 feet in length. So I think they got some issues there. Same thing with the balloons. It doesn't really make that much sense. But yeah, so... In this game, it should get kind of interesting considering I haven't been able to play it this much. Let's get this thing started. There's a very long, like, wait time between talking in this game for some reason. I don't know if that's just the PS1 version or what. Chrono! Chrono! Good morning, Chrono! Like I said, very long wait. By the way, that is Chrono's mom. I know it doesn't work out that well. Come on, sleepyhead, get up! Why is the first thing they always do in these games open the windows? I mean, I, I don't know about you, whether or not the windows open, I'm gonna wake up. Ah, oh, Lenny's bell makes such beautiful music. Uh, it's not even playing right now, by the way. You were so excited about the, um, I'm going to slaughter this, Melino bear, that you don't sleep well, did, that you didn't sleep well, did you? Man, I suck at this thing called talking. I want you to behave yourself today. Okay, got it, behave myself. Oh, that best part about this, oh, let's get moving now. Best part about this thing is, the spread they actually have for Chrono, yeah, he, it's kind of funny to see how you walk out and you're fully clothed and ready to go. Fist pump twice, ready to go. Let's do this thing. See, so nothing really interesting in this house at the start. You just kind of do your thing. Well, finally, by the way, the inventor friend of yours, uh, y you know, oh dear, I forgot her name. It seems like at the start of all these games, everyone's mentally retarded. No, no offense, but, but no one seems to know anyone's name. I, I guess that's one way to put it in. We're going to go with Luca again. I'm just gonna, I like the classics, whatever works. But, but, it, especially coming up, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll like, leave it to what's coming up. All right. That's right, Luca. Don't forget she invented you, invited you to see her new invention. Like I said, I, I suck at this thing called speaking today. Run along now and be back before dinner. Yeah, they always say that. You're never back. But well, yeah, whatever. Oh, cool thing about this house is the way they had the cat following you everywhere you go throughout the house. The, the cats in this game seem like to follow you one way or another. They never actually talk. They jump up and down. That's what they do. They jump. So yeah, let's keep going. So yeah, it's pretty simple here at the start. Um, interesting little mini games that are going to be coming up. But yeah, here's the whole town. Easy enough. You can go to any of these places. We're just going to go straight to the fair up here. You just walk into the fair. Uh, Leany Square is going to go there. It's pretty easy. It's the basic movements. It's just the D-pad. Pretty easy up, down, left, right. X, for playing, if you're playing on the PS1 version, X is like confirm, talk. I'm just going to talk to this dude, what's he say? Welcome to the Millennial Fair, have fun. Okay then. So it's going to be a lot of little things here. Um, one of the things I always like to do, first thing I like to do is come up here. Um, and you, when you open up this shop, there should be, yeah, buy. You start with 400 gold. You might as well buy a karate gi for yourself. Just because it's worth it, the uh, defense boost is enough to where it's significant. And always go ahead and change your tunic for your karate gi and go ahead and sell that tunic. Because everyone has them and it's pretty much 340 gold. So yeah, we're going to go and sell that. 
And then uh, coming up is the part that I'm talking about that people are just completely and utterly retarded sometimes in the start of games. So yeah, you walk up here. Huh, that girl running up. She must have nothing to do with the rest of the game. Let's walk up. Oh, oh, god damn it. Hey. I, I, I mean, what the hell? You're walking back for the watching me. Ouch, that hurt. She, she ran to me. It, I mean, at least she comes over and says, I'm sorry, are you okay? It just doesn't make any sense. Uh-oh, my pendant! Y you know, it's completely in view. You know, you could walk like five feet this way and see it. Obviously, you're too stupid, but whatever. Go ahead and hand it to her. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant! I, it has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Mmm, such a hard choice. Let's just go and say yes. I came to see the festival. You live in this town, don't you? I feel a little out of place here. Oh, there couldn't be something wrong there. Would you mind if I walked around with you for a while? Hmm, a strange girl comes up to me and will ask me to walk around with. Hmm, let's go with sure for a while now. You're a true gentleman, jumping up in joy, obviously. Oh, by the way, my name is Er. Uh, uh, brain damage kicking in. No clue what own name is so hard. Uh, so yeah, that's what I mean. Most of the games, the just retarded ass talking. I mean, hey, my, my, my name is, is, is too hard. Um, Meryl. Oh, and you? Chrono. What a nice name. Pleased to meet you. Now lead on. So yeah, from here we can do one of many things. The few things you want to do right here at the start. Is go over here, and you're going to talk to this cat. Only talk to it once, because it glitches if you don't. It's going to start to follow you around. And what you're going to want to do is bring that cat all the way, if I can move. Come on, move, move, cat. Bad cat, move. Supposedly the cat is like a brick wall. I never knew that. See, so yeah, you're going to move the cat over. You're going to go over to this other side of the plaza. Make sure the cat doesn't get stuck on every little thing like it does. Come on, come on. Everything in this game is mentally retarded. You take it up to this girl and you're just going to talk to her. You brought my cat back for me. Thank you. You're going to do that. Oh, you're so sweet, Chrono. Oh, whatever. Uh, what that's going to do is later on in the game, that's going to make a difference. You can also do a little drinking game here. I fail at it, unfortunately. It's pressing X as fast as you can. You try to get as many bottles as you can. I can never seem to get more than seven for some reason. Never actually figured out if you can get more than that. I'm guessing so. I see seven and done. Only seven cans. That's the best you can do. I've never actually got more than that. You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Chrono? So yeah, that's one of the things you can do. And another thing you can do is, if you go back over here by where we found the cat, is you're going to find a lunchbox here. If you walk him to and eat it, if you want to, it'll regain all your health. And uh, what happens is later on in the game, that will uh, negatively affect you, so it's up to you. One little thing I like to do is because if, um, you do need these things called silver points for the start of this thing, so you do a little mini game. So what you can do is you can walk up here to the left, and fight this robot thing. He's really easy. Every time you fight him, though, um, for the first, like, three times, you're going to need to go heal. So that comes in real handy to go down here and grab the meal for free. I mean, you get all your health back, all your mana back, and then, yeah, you're back in the fight. So it's really up to you. If, as long as you do the cat and that, you should be fine at the fine at the end of the, when it comes to down to the part of that negatively affecting you. That's fine. So if you want to do that, um... I don't exactly know what happens if you win the mini game, like all three of them. So we're gonna try to do that. Um, so yeah, then you get up here where you can go and talk to a few people. You're gonna find out catchy rhythm. You can use triangle, square, L1, R1 buttons to dance. So you can go ahead and do that. I, I actually never forgot if it does anything. This is all you pretty much do is sit there and dance. That's triangle, square, left one, L1, R1 is left. That's pretty much it. Oh, maybe it's acting a little. I guess it's doing its own thing. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, other than that, I don't know what else this does up here. But I am running really close on time, so we're going to go ahead and cut it here. Next time, we're going to go ahead and run through the mini game, show you how to beat that. Other than that, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I need some subscribers. I have zero right now. Um, if you'd like to uh, go and look at our uh, I, like my group page, it's uh, Pacifist Fight Club. I'll try to link the two pages together if I can. Um, well, thank you for watching, and have a good whatever it is you have. I hope you won't fail at this game.